What is the primary purpose of a tourniquet during venipuncture? A. To stop bleeding. B. To make veins more visible and palpable. C. To disinfect the puncture site. D. To reduce patient discomfort. Answer B. A tourniquet is used to temporarily restrict blood flow, making veins easier to locate and access. Which of the following tubes is used for collecting blood for a complete blood count, CBC? A. Red top tube. B. Lavender top tube. C. Green top tube. D. Gray top tube. Answer B. Lavender top tubes contain EDTA, which is used for hematology tests like CBC. What is the most common antiseptic used for cleaning the venipuncture site? A. Hydrogen peroxide. B. Isopropyl alcohol. C. Betadine. D. Chlorhexidine. Answer B. Isopropyl alcohol, 70%, is the most commonly used antiseptic for cleaning the skin before venipuncture. Which vein is most commonly used for venipuncture? A. Basilic vein. B. Cephalic vein. C. Median cubital vein. D. Dorsal hand vein. Answer C. The median cubital vein is the preferred choice due to its size and stability. What is the correct order of draw for blood collection tubes? A. Red, lavender, green, gray. B. Yellow, light blue, green, lavender. C. Lavender, green, gray, red. D. Light blue, red, lavender, gray. Answer B. The correct order of draw prevents cross-contamination of additives between tubes. What does the term hemolysis mean? A. Clotting of blood. B. Breakdown of red blood cells. C. Formation of a hematoma. D. Infection at the puncture site. Answer B. Hemolysis refers to the rupture of red blood cells, which can affect test results. Which tube contains sodium citrate as an additive? A. Red top tube. B. Light blue top tube. C. Green top tube. D. Gray top tube. Answer B. Light blue top tubes contain sodium citrate, used for coagulation tests. What is the recommended angle for needle insertion during venipuncture? A. 10 to 15 degrees. B. 15 to 30 degrees. C. 30 to 45 degrees. D. 45 to 60 degrees. Answer B. A 15 to 30 degree angle ensures proper needle insertion into the vein. Which of the following is a complication of venipuncture? A. Syncope. B. Hemolysis. C. Hematoma. D. All of the above. Answer D. Syncope. Fainting, hemolysis, and hematoma are all potential complications. What is the purpose of a gray top tube? A. Coagulation studies. B. Blood glucose testing. C. Serum separation. D. Blood culture collection. Answer B. Gray top tubes contain fluoride, which preserves glucose levels for testing. Which of the following is not a step in the venipuncture procedure? A. Identify the patient. B. Apply a tourniquet. C. Label the tubes before collection. D. Clean the puncture site. Answer. C. Tubes should be labeled after collection to avoid errors. What is the minimum volume of blood required for most laboratory tests? A. 1 to 2 milliliters. B. 3 to 5 milliliters. C. 
10 to 15 milliliters. D, 20 to 25 milliliters. Answer, B. Most tests require 3 to 5 milliliters of blood, though this may vary. Which of the following tests requires a fasting sample? A. Complete blood count, CBC. B. Blood glucose. C. Blood type. D. Electrolyte panel. Answer, B. Blood glucose tests typically require the patient to fast for accurate results. What is the first step in the venipuncture procedure? A. Clean the puncture site. B. Identify the patient. C. Apply the tourniquet. D. Select the vein. Answer, B. Proper patient identification is the first and most critical step. Which of the following is a contraindication for venipuncture? A. Patient has a fever. B. Patient has an active infection at the site. C. Patient is fasting. D. Patient is anxious. Answer, B. Venipuncture should not be performed at a site with an active infection. What is the purpose of a red top tube? A. Coagulation studies. B. Serum testing. C. Blood cultures. D. Hematology testing. Answer, B. Red top tubes are used for serum separation and testing. Which of the following is a proper way to handle a needle after use? A. Recap the needle. B. Dispose of it in a sharps container. C. Leave it on the patient's bed. D. Reuse it for another patient. Answer, B. Needles must be disposed of in a sharps container to prevent injuries. What is the most common gauge needle used for routine venipuncture? A. 18 gauge. B. 20 gauge. C. 22 gauge. D. 25 gauge. Answer, C. A 22 gauge needle is commonly used for routine venipuncture. What is the purpose of a green top tube? A. Coagulation studies. B. Serum testing. C. Heparinized plasma testing. D. Blood cultures. Answer, C. Green top tubes contain heparin, used for plasma testing. What is the maximum time a tourniquet should be left on during venipuncture? A. 30 seconds. B. 1 minute. C. 2 minutes. D. 5 minutes. Answer, B. Leaving a tourniquet on for more than one minute can cause hemoconcentration. Which of the following is a sign of a hematoma? A. Swelling and bruising at the puncture site. B. Redness and warmth at the puncture site. C. Numbness in the arm. D. Fever and chills. Answer, A. A hematoma is characterized by swelling and bruising due to blood leakage into surrounding tissues. What is the purpose of a yellow top tube? A. Blood cultures. B. Serum testing. C. Coagulation studies. D. Hematology testing. Answer, A. Yellow top tubes are used for blood culture collection. Which of the following is a proper way to label a blood sample? A. Use the patient's room number. B. Label the tube before collection. C. Include the patient's full name, date of birth, and ID number. D. Use a pencil for labeling. Answer. C. Proper labeling ensures accurate identification of the sample. What is the purpose of a light blue top tube? A. Serum testing. B. Coagulation studies. C. Blood cultures. D. Hematology testing.
Answer B. Light blue top tubes are used for coagulation tests like PT and APTT. What is the most common complication of venipuncture? A. Infection. B. Hematoma. C. Syncope. D. Hemolysis. Answer B. Hematoma formation is the most common complication due to blood leakage from the vein. Which of the following is a proper way to handle a patient who faints during venipuncture? A. Continue the procedure. B. Lower the patient's head and elevate their legs. C. Give the patient water immediately. D. Leave the patient unattended. Answer B. This position helps restore blood flow to the brain. What is the purpose of a gray top tube? A. Blood glucose testing. B. Serum testing. C. Coagulation studies. D. Blood cultures. Answer A. Gray top tubes contain fluoride, which preserves glucose levels. Which of the following is a proper way to clean the venipuncture site? A. Use a circular motion from the center outward. B. Use a back and forth motion. C. Use a dry cotton ball. D. Skip cleaning if the site looks clean. Answer A. This technique ensures proper disinfection of the site. What is the purpose of a lavender top tube? A. Serum testing. B. Hematology testing. C. Coagulation studies. D. Blood cultures. Answer B. Lavender top tubes contain EDTA, used for hematology tests like CBC. What is the most important step after completing a venipuncture? A. Dispose of the needle. B. Label the tubes. C. Thank the patient. D. Apply pressure to the puncture site. Answer D. Applying pressure prevents bleeding and hematoma formation.